Hi. In this video, I will show you how you can download the master set of file from your MyPLM Connect portal to your thumbstick. In order to do that, please open up your um, Google Chrome or any internet browser and log in your MyPLM Connect account. Um, here you can see I already have bookmarked my website, so like it will be stay logged in for me. And I would recommend to you, you can use the same thing uh, just to easiness of the operation. Now, once you already log in into your account, um, you can see the error out of box, which stands for the export tab. So just click on export um, and you should have new export window open up. Now, once you are in this window, you can see all the different export type file format. I will explain you a little bit about that, um, but the entire downloading the file process is just the same. Uh, it's just a matter of making a selection at particular stage. So like here, you, sh you must select CN1 um, for your new Holland or case machineries. You should select as an ISO XML for your top, uh, top, uh, top on and Trimble screen. So if you have any older tractor which is running on uh, drop on or Trimble, you should select ISO XML as a as a master setter format. And if you have say Miller Nitro sprayer, uh, self propelled sprayer, or any Raven displays, you should select Raven ISO XML for that. Um, RCD, it's for your John Deere machinery. So if you have a um, tractor which from John Deere or just a system from John Deere, or you have a header from New Holland, but it is running on John Deere system. In that case, you just select RCD for that matter. Uh, SHP stands for shapefile. So it's really useful for downloading the prescription from the portal. Um, you can directly send it to machine. So it's just an alternative option for if you want to just put it in a thumbstick and put it in the screen and work, work your way from there. But just to keep it simple, we'll just select the .gn1 and you can rename the folder. Um, to rename the folder, just say M setup. Um, you can't have a space or any of the numbers in there, so you have to have lower um, underscore in there. Uh, and just say year 2023. If it is, you just want to name it harvest or seeding, you can just put it out right after that. But that's how I like to do it, just to keep a track. And it always says what sort of file format is that. So like um, even um, if I would choose ISO XML, it should change it to ISO XML. If I select the CN1, it will stay as a CN1. So. Um, just leave it as it is and then select the download because you want to have all of your run lines and boundaries in thumbstick and say yes to master set of file. Um, so here you see I can already selected the stuff. Uh, operator is the name of the operator. Uh, you can skip that out um, if, you, if you like or if you are somebody who do not like to create operator every single time, you can just select whatever the name, list of the name you have on your portal. For this video purpose, we are skipping the step uh, where you select the products and prescription. There is a whole different video available in there. Please look for how to download a prescription map or how to send the pres prescriptions to the machine. Um, and yeah, and then next option is include swatch. So if you say yes to this, it basically means that you are selecting your run lines. Either it is go. Um, ABCO or straight lines, all are in there. You can handpick it if you like. So you can see, um, um, like I do not want to have headline, I only want to have straight lines. So I'll just select heading in that scenario. But you can, because it's a pre season master set of files, just select all. There is no harm to having extra information than running out of information. And then landmark, it's basically any physical structure which on your farm, which you have marked during the mapping your farm. So either could be shared, a pile of rock in the middle of the field or trees or anything like that, which give you heads up while you're in a screen. 
and then include boundaries definitely yes um, this is the only option where you have to select manually so you, as you can see on a screen that i just click on select all this is the only option where you have to select it otherwise either you say yes either you say no but the by default selection is always stays all selected including for your farm um, where it is on it's the name of the crops you would like to see on your screen so like you know every time you change the field or change the task you have to select the type of the crop um, if you select all you would have 211 name of the crop which you have to select from so i would highly recommend to only download the whatever the crop you have planted on your farm so on my farm it is wheat um, either it could be bud or whatever the breed you have got it has all the, all sort of breeds of crop in there uh, and then say canola so like canola only two if you have lupins barley corn anything anything else just try to find it and yeah selected that option once you make all these selections and you're happy with it just click on the next again and here you can see what information you have said yes to how many growers were there how many number of fields are there i said no to equipment no prescriptions no products no implements uh, definitely yes to boundaries inner boundaries yes uh, swats ditches and trucks so inner boundaries could be your country bank uh, could be a tree or, or a zone of the tree or any creek or any water bodies you have marked that's what the inner boundary means usually you can't see it in here you have to turn it on and off um, and here you can see i only have put the two name of the crop wheat and canola that's why it says two if i had four like wheat canola barley and lupins it should say four um, another thing is you can double check uh, your field in here so like zooming in and out says everything is correct and you should have only 37 name of the field because that's what it says and here this is specifically for you can see how does the field looks like once you're happy with your selection and the information it has given just click on finish um, and that file should be downloaded Because we have said yes to master set of file, uh, that set of file is going, you do not have to repeat this process again. All you have to do is go to your settings, click on files from top menu, and then click on set of files. So next time, just come down here and hit download file, and you're going to end up with the very same file and the rest of the process is same so here you can see um, it has finished downloading that for me now if you're using google chrome or internet explorer that downloaded file will be only under your downloaded section so you first go to your window explorer or click on yellow folder at the bottom of your screen you can also follow my screen for your reference so click on yellow folder look at your left you should have a bunch of option but the document download this pc and all that option are by default you will find the same option in any computer on the world so find your download folder in my case it's from left click on download you should have all the list of downloaded files in there and here you can see that very same file which is just get downloaded so i'll click on that and rename it you can so to rename the file all you have to do is click on that that name of the file once and then right click it which is a right um, click on your uh, computer and then there should be a rename option so like um go rename in here here you can see on a screen but if you have a window 11 or 10 you have to select rename option um, as you can see on my screen at 18 click on there just say 
master setup 2023 and that's your master setup file now the job is not done yet uh, putting that information directly on your usb that's also another uh, half of the job with if not for so insert your usb drive to your computer Whenever the computer recognizes your drive, it should open up the folder. If it is not from the very same left-hand side window, um, click on this PC. You can see on the screen as well. Click on this PC option, which should give you a list of your drives. Um, could be internal, could be a hard drive, or could be your USB drive. Here you can see the USB drive. If I'll click on it, um, it should give you all the information in there. And now if you have information from previous season, you definitely want to save that one somewhere on your cloud drive. Um, as I have explained in how to upload data to portal, you can refer that video for that as well. Um, but the usual way is you just clean out that drive like this, as you can see in the video. So to format it, the process is you click the drive once um, and then right click on the very same drive and click on format option. If you have window 10, um, your menu something would be look like this. So select the format option, leave all the setting as is, just click on a start, click OK um, and say yes. And whenever that process will finish the formatting process you would have new message called format complete you just click ok and then close this window now what you do is you go back to the download folder again you can follow the steps on the screen you go back to download folder again you wanna copy that folder so you click on that name of the folder once and then you can do the copy as you can see on the screen or you can just use the control tab from your keyboard and see both together um, and then you go to this pc which you can follow on the screen as well and then you go back to usb drive and here you, you right click anywhere in the white space and then you can see um, clipboard which says control V as well you can see on the screen so if you do not want to use that symbol you can just press the control tab on your keyboard and V and it should pass that folder here now once you finish the job you have to open up this folder so here you can see the folder with the zip sign on it that's not good enough for the screens so you have to right click again uh, you have to use either extract all or if you have um option say yeah extra call yeah that's the thing and you can follow the window if you see a window like this just click on extract which start the extracting or opening up all the files from the zipped folder and once it is done you go back to your this pc uh, and USB drive and then you want to delete that zipped folder I said zipped keep in mind so delete the zipped folder okay and then you want to open that master setup 2023 folder you want to copy this another folder which is right inside of the thing you want to copy it or you can cut it like with the control X or a scissor you can also see the sort command, which is control X. And then you go back to your USB drive from this PC, select your USB drive, and then paste that cut folder here. And then delete this master set of files. So either you can just click the delete key on your keyboard and get rid of it. And this is what the format should look like at every time so like 
a capital num- um, a letter and a number and dot cn1 if you do not have this file format like dot cn1 straight in a usb drive uh, whenever you insert your usb drive into the tele 4 tele 12 or any new holland in case displays it won't recognize any file format so you have to make sure that this is kind of a format or this is the only file you should have in the thumbstick or your USB drive. Um, and it should be look like exactly like this all the time. Doesn't matter how many years goes by, but this is how you want to have it. Your master setup file. Once you do all this progress, um, don't forget to eject your thumb drive. Don't pull out straight away from your computer. Make sure that you eject the thumb drive properly. Now for that, you can um, go back to this PC option. Click on this PC and you should have all the list of your drives. Click on the USB drive and then right click it again. Once you have a drop down menu, select the option called eject, which should be right underneath your format option. So if you know how to format it, you probably know how to eject it as well. So now click on eject and Whenever the USB drive disappear from your disk PC or list of your drive options, it means now you are, you can pull out the thumbstick straight from the USB drive. Now it saves to pull out. The reason to do the reason for rejecting the drive is that like you did enter process correctly, but if you pull out your thumb down straight away, there is a high risk of the chances that you corrupting your data. And because you're going to put this thumb drive straight to the screen, there is a high chances that you're going to, um, corrupt the whatever the data in the screen as well um so never ever pull out the thumb down straight away from your computer always eject it doesn't matter is it only for master setup purpose or anything um thanks for the watching video uh, and i'll see you on next one